What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 speculation type video where we're going to be talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi, why he should be in the game, why he could be quite cool to see in the game. Because at the moment the only sort of information we have on Obi-Wan Kenobi or sort of sight of him in Star Wars Battlefront 2 is his ship in the Kamino concept art that you are seeing on screen. We have not seen or heard anything about Obi-Wan actually being in Star Wars Battlefront 2 yet. Before we get fully into the video, let me know down in the comments section below if you want to see Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Do you want him there at launch or do you think we should wait and then bring him into a DLC paired up with someone really cool? Also make sure to smash a like on this video to show support for the Battlefront 2 videos. Also subscribe if you are new to the channel to be kept up to date with all things Star Wars Battlefront 2. So Obi-Wan Kenobi was later known as Ben Kenobi during his exile, he was exiled after the whole Order 66 and Jedi Purge, which was carried out by Lord Vader and Emperor Palpatine, where pretty much every single Jedi was killed, apart from a handful of them. He was a Force-sensitive human male Jedi Master who served the Galactic Republic. He was mentor to both Anakin Skywalker and his son Luke Skywalker, training them in the ways of the Force. One of the really cool things I like about Obi-Wan Kenobi is he has so many different appearances throughout the whole Star Wars story. You've got him in his Padawan form in Episode 1, then you've got him in his Jedi Knight type form in Episode 2, then in Star Wars The Clone Wars the TV series we have him in his sort of battle armour from The Clone Wars, then we have him in Revenge of the Sith where he is a Jedi Master, and then we have the Ben Kenobi look which is happening throughout the original trilogy where he's a little bit older. Aloy looks a lot older, to be honest with you. He has longer robes and he's more of a sort of master of the force than a crazy cool lightsaber character. I think it would be awesome if Obi-Wan Kenobi was in Star Wars Battlefront 2 and we got like all of those skins to sort of select and play with depending on which map we're playing on. I would love to see the Clone Wars animated series skin for Obi-Wan Kenobi where he's wearing his battle armour. I really like that look and I think it could go really well in Star Wars Battlefront 2, but if Clone Wars content isn't going to be in there, I'd really hope that Obi-Wan Kenobi has his Revenge of the Sith look, as I really like that look, I think it's probably the best one for me personally. But I think it's great that he has the sort of potential to have a lot of different skins within Star Wars Battlefront 2 if all of the heroes do have different customization skins. We also know that he would have a cool few abilities, we could definitely see Obi-Wan Kenobi have Mind Trick since the ability is already in the game with Rey. As for the other ones I'm not sure what they would be but I would be interested again to see what DICE and EA do with that if Obi-Wan is in the game. Since Obi-Wan is one of the main characters in the prequel trilogy and then sort of a more of a side character in the original trilogy, I think it's pretty necessary that he has to be in the game in some way, whether that's through DLC or at launch. He trains Anakin Skywalker and then Anakin Skywalker goes on to become Darth Vader, so I think Obi-Wan is a very important character to the Star Wars universe, so it makes sense that he's in the game. Like I've said before in previous videos, I think all of the main characters from all of the trilogies should be in the game at launch, but we'll see what EA and DICE actually do with that. I don't see any real reason why Obi-Wan Kenobi shouldn't be in Star Wars Battlefront 2, although they could say that if there is going to be a lot of Jedi characters, they could all be similar in some way, so it would feel sort of samey to play as the Jedi characters, which they could argue is a reason to not have a lot of Jedi characters in the game. But I'd say about 90% of the Star Wars community really want to see Obi-Wan Kenobi in the game. And I must say I am among those guys. However, I would like to see Anakin Skywalker more, but I think Obi-Wan Kenobi is a pretty close second. I do have a feeling that Obi-Wan Kenobi will be in the game though. I don't think EA and DICE will leave him out of it considering most of the community want him in there. And like I said before, he's a pretty crucial character to the whole Star Wars story. But I don't think he's going to be there for launch. There's some sort of feeling in me where I think he will be brought into the game through a DLC. I think the fact that they've showed off Yoda for the prequel era on the light side so far means that there might not be another Jedi in the game at launch but I can't confirm that because I don't really know. They could have a couple of Jedi in the game for the prequel era at launch, depending on what happens in the next few months. But I think Obi-Wan Kenobi is more than likely going to be a DLC character, which is a shame because a lot of people want him in the game at launch to play as him as soon as the game comes out. 
but you might have to wait until one of the DLC seasons arrives. Let me know down in the comments section, like I said earlier in the video, if you want Obi-Wan Kenobi in the game. If so, are you bothered if he comes through a DLC, or does it not really matter to you? Do you just want to see him there at some point? Make sure to smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed it, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance and be kept up to date with all things Star Wars Battlefront 2 and other Star Wars games. Other than that, may the Force be with you.